Okay, I'm gonna try to do a fairly quick video here. Um, and I'm sending this uh, basically to my friend Chris Andrews in the UK who told me about a really cool app called uh, IR, uh, I guess it's IRCDDDB. It's an application that you can download for uh, Android and um, Apple devices. And so I've set it up here on my iPad as well as my Android phone. And what it allows you to do is um, if you have a computer or a Raspberry Pi that is running the D-Star uh, image, um, you can use it to remotely change the reflectors or repeaters or whatever that you're, you're connected to. Uh, I think uh, by default um, it's set up for reflectors, but you can manually enter, uh, let's say, the repeaters that you want to connect to as well into the system. So anyhow, uh, just to demonstrate, I'm, I'm in the car mobile. I'm in a parking lot right now. But I'm using a Wi-Fi hotspot from AT&T uh, to do this. Because, uh, of course, D-Star connects through the Internet. And uh, the main object of this, uh, Chris, uh, and anybody else that's trying to do this, is to find out what the IP address is of your Raspberry Pi. Now I have a Raspberry Pi and a DVAP with a little battery pack here that I'm running. Uh, it's, it's all by itself. I can take it portable anywhere I want. Typically I'll have it hooked up in my car inside uh, my center console running off of the car. Uh, I have a USB port inside my center console and so I, I plug it in there and I don't need the battery. Um, but I'll save the battery for field use or whatever, or some place where I don't have uh, access to electricity. But anyhow, it's running right now. It's running the Maryland D-Star uh, image, um, and I like the Maryland D-Star image uh, a lot. Uh, in another video, I've talked about why I like that image. Uh, but just briefly, it's because I can uh, set up, it has a scheduler in it that I can set up um, to connect to reflectors uh, or repeaters at any given time uh, that I set in the timer. And so I've got it set up right now to connect to most of the D-Star uh, nets at the proper time. So if it's plugged in and, I'm, and I forgot about a net, it will automatically connect. And now here it says connected to a certain reflector, and then I'll start here in the net and so on and so forth. It remind, basically, it reminds me to check into the nets. Anyhow, so that's up and running. It's using the Wi-Fi hotspot. I know already what the IP address is because my Wi-Fi hotspot has a feature in it that I can basically see uh, what devices are connected. And you'll see down here in the lower left-hand corner, it says there's three devices connected. Basically, it's my Android phone, the iPad, and the, the Raspberry Pi. And so I can go in here and look at the different MAC addresses and it tells me what's connected and when I click on the arrow on the right hand side it'll give me what the IP address for that device is okay so anyway key to this whole thing is is knowing the IP address of the Pi so Chris was saying that he was never able to get this set up mobile he's he's been using it at his house on his home Wi-Fi which is easy to find the IP address uh, and so I told him, well, you know, I could, I could probably do that mobile. And he says he's tried over and over again and he couldn't get it to work. Um, and like I say, the answer is knowing what the IP address is of the, of the Pi. So there's a lot of Wi-Fi, you know, 4G, 3G adapters out there like, like my AT&T one here that will not have a display on it that doesn't tell you what the IP address is. You know, it's DHCP or whatever. So... In that case, the way to solve that would be is to set up your Pi so that it connects to the Wi-Fi, but you're using a static IP address on your Wi-Fi's LAN, okay? So, in this case, if I didn't have the display on the AT&T Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, and I didn't know what the IP address is, I would just go into the Raspberry Pi remotely, you know, while at home and configure it, so that it uses the static IP address. So, so right now, my Wi-Fi hotspot DHCP is putting out IP addresses 
or giving out IP addresses that are in the 192.168.1. whatever range. So all I would do is set up the Wi-Fi connection in, to this hotspots, you know, SID, with a 192.168.1. Dot whatever let's let's say 225 uh, IP address now I don't have many devices in here so I don't have, really have to worry about a conflict you know it's going to start issuing addresses say at uh, you know uh, 192.168.1.10 or .1.100 whatever I set it up as so if I set it from for 100 to 200 range then I could go with any IP address less than 100 and never have to worry about a conflict so anyhow that's how to solve that problem uh, in my particular instance, I didn't need to do that. I'm using DHCP. It's getting an IP address automatically from the Wi-Fi hotspot, and I can look on my screen and tell what that address is. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to set up uh, IRC uh, DDB application on your Android device or on your uh, Apple device, uh, and this is what it looks like. Now, so you go in, and once you launch it, you go into settings, and then, uh, you know, you find uh, the IRC DDDB server host address, and you type in the address of the Raspberry Pi, or the device that, you know, it could be a PC that's running uh, the DSTAR, uh, you know, uh, software, okay? So, that's set up. Now, inside the DSTAR software, uh, you need to also set this up the opposite way uh, and it's under the remote tab and you're gonna put in the server port which is typically this 10022 you can change it to whatever you want but that's the one that's standard and so I just left it as that and then you're gonna put in the password that you've put into the Pi for the remote connection so that it can connect now once you've done that you're going to come over here and you're going to click on this refresh button right here. It'll refresh and it'll pop up with the information uh, of your uh, Raspberry Pi, you know, uh, setup. So mine's KB5YZD-C, uh, which is a VHF 2 meter DVAP connected to it, okay? And uh, it'll say not linked. Then you just go in here and pick what reflector you want and it's got a pull down list. Uh, and you know REF, DCS, XRF, whatever, and you know uh, you're gonna select uh, what number and then what port, right? Okay, over here. So scroll down, select the port. Now I've already configured a couple of them, and I've saved a couple of them uh, in my list here that I use on a normal basis. This is Texas statewide. Uh, this is Reflector 30 Charlie, which is busy all the time. This is XRF 048 Bravo, which is uh, Louisiana statewide, uh, which is, I'm from New Orleans, so I like to connect to that every once in a while. But let's try 30 Charlie and see if anybody's on it. Now watch, my phone is not connected to anything but power, and my radio's down there, and I have it set up uh, just in the normal uh, talk mode for D-Star, connected uh, on a frequency to my DVAP. And let's see if I can get this thing to focus. All right. Well, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus for me today, but anyhow, you get the picture here. It's it's a DVAP and it's set in the talk mode. You can see that by the T. Okay, and if I if I take my microphone and key up here. You can hear that it's actually repeating, and if I go to info mode, which is uh, I, and key up, it's going to tell me it's not linked. Not linked. Okay, so let's go back to talk mode. Now, I'm going to go back on the phone, and... Uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see if we can't get this thing to focus all right and I'm gonna select 30 Charlie link 
Zero, Charlie. Yeah, I have Amazon. Um, I use it quite a bit. I have the Amazon Prime. Yeah, that's what I have. I have the Prime, and that's worked pretty well for me. Although their quality, you know, or their vendor's quality. So I am mobile. I'm, I'm not at my house. I'm not on my home Wi-Fi. I'm using a Wi-Fi hotspot, Raspberry Pi, portable battery, but like I say, I can plug it in a cigarette lighter. And the IRC DDDB gateway software on my phone. Now, like I say, there's also the same software for uh, the iPad or iPhones. Let me get logged into this thing. Okay, and um, so let's see. We'll pull that up. And you know, it, it, for the for the iPads, wow. iPhones, you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna type in I R C D D B. Okay, and do a search for that. And then you're gonna you're gonna download that program. Okay, I already have. I'm just gonna open it. Okay, so it's set up right now to connect to the Pi wallets at my house so you know in, in this particular instance you'd go into settings and you know find the IP address and change it to whatever uh, to whatever it is uh, currently okay and so this is very difficult to do with one hand while I'm holding the camera with the other hand, but you, you get the picture, okay? So, uh, so uh, currently, like I say, I have it set up to work at home, and I could set this one up in the car as well, just like I've done with the Android phone. But I'll show you, you know, uh, instead of flipping through all of the settings on the radio, how easy it is to... To disconnect. Well, I hit I hit zero four zero. Okay, so let's disconnect. I hit connect disconnect now. There we go. And in a second, it's going to say not linked. Okay. So anyway, that's just to show you that it will work mobile. It doesn't have to be on a home Wi-Fi. It can be on any Wi-Fi. And uh, like I say, hot, hot spots, Wi-Fi hot spots do work. And if you don't have a Wi-Fi hotspot that has a display, all you got to do is know what the IP address is of the Raspberry Pi or whatever computer you're using to, to do this. Anyway, sorry it took so long, uh, such a long video, and hopefully you understand uh, how to set this up. Have a good one.